I just wanted to start trying to vlog. I've never done that before. I just wanted to try if I can maybe do that. I used to make videos way back when I started reading again, when I um, thought I could maybe try it, but um, it didn't work out. I had a lot to go through and um, that's why um, I stopped and deleted everything. I just wasn't ready. So um, I wanted to hope to be ready now. Um, I'm super self-conscious about my English, my um, pronunciation and I'm constantly um, you know thinking of words too long because English is not my uh, first language. I know these words are there but they just have to come to me and uh, a lot of times they don't come as fast. Um, I wanted to quickly tell you what I'm reading and um, oh it's Friday night so technically it's Saturday. Yeah. What am I reading? Um, this is what I'm reading actively the most uh, currently in my Laney Taylor bag I got in the Lit Joy Crate Dreams and Dreams and Nightmares Dreams and Nightmares box for News of Nightmares because Laney Taylor is one of my favorite authors and Strange the Dreamer used to be my favorite book but I think this book could potentially be my new favorite book of all time and I'm shook. <laughs> um, this is an author I have never read before. He is very famous. He has tons of books out. Lots of people love him but he mainly writes adult I think. And this one is YA. Um, this one came in a fairy loot, I think the November one. And uh, currently there is a read-along, that's why I am reading it. That's why I stopped reading some of the other books I'm at the beginning, in the middle of. Um, anyway, this is Skyward by Brandon, Brandon Sanderson. Um, so this is, this is the book. And it's sci-fi, it's uh, set on a different planet. That's probably the only colony of humans that is left on in this universe. They are being attacked by the aliens called Krell for decades. And no one really knows who they are, why they attack, where they come from. And um, our main character is um, constantly followed by her fa father's reputation. Um, her father died in the most important um, mission, the most important mission where she le uh, last saw him. He died because uh, supposedly he fled, he tried to flee and then was shot down. So he died because um, his own people shot him down because he wanted to flee the attack. And uh, she is constantly been uh, judged her whole life and um, they don't want to include her, they don't want her to become a, pi a pilot, uh, which is what she wants to do and wanted to do when she was uh, a child and her father always told her about it. And um, yeah, obviously she is uh, included in this um, pilot school anyway. And um, yeah, we follow her in this school setting, being an outcast and um, finding a ship. This is in the synopsis as well. Um, and that the ship might have a soul. And this is the best part about this book. And this is why I love it so much. The ship is amazing. The 
artificial intelligence is funny and just the humor in this book I love it I love it so much and um, I don't know why I read so little um, sci-fi because I love sci-fi I don't know anyway I'm on page 399 chapter 43 um, and I'm going to finish this probably tonight that is my first read second read is what I'm listening to on audio on my commutes to and from uni and that is um, Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas um, the third book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series probably everyone knows about that so um, it's a loose Beauty and the Beast retelling the first book and um, it's in this world where they are high fey and courts and um, Feyre comes to this spring court and um, falls in love with her captor like the beast you know but the other two books are way different and way better and um, I didn't really want to continue this I liked the second book I didn't like the first book that much but um, I wasn't intrigued so so I just um, put it off but uh, I put this out of my TBR jar and I just got the audiobook and I like the new narrator there is a new narrator uh, for this book and the novella book A Court of Frost and Starlight um, and uh, I like her voice way better and yeah all I'm going to say is this is not a good book to read when you're sick because you know why <laughs> oh and um, this is technically considered new adult I think <laughs> um, the book I also pulled from my tibiaja and was going to read um, when I joined the read-along and stopped reading was uh, Sea Witch. That is my next TBR jar pick and I only got to page 10 <laughs> so I don't know anything. Um, I think this is uh, somehow based on the villain, so Ursula. I think uh, her, the main character's name is not Ursula, it's Evie and uh, I believe we're going to see why she is becoming evil like in um, what's it called Heartless by Miss Amaya and uh, the last thing I'm in the middle of was actually a book I got in my Illumi crate and that is um, Wild Magic by Tamara Pierce this is the Illumi crate exclusive cover um, the original one is blue. I got this also because I was obsessed, so obsessed, that I got all four books and um, yeah, I love it. I don't know why I stopped reading, um, maybe just because of the read-along. Um, this would have been my first priority otherwise. Um, I'm on page... 159 but it's only 200 and 200 and 16 pages so I only had about 80 pages left um, I'm definitely going to finish this in December and I love it so much oh uh, what is it about yeah it's about a girl who has a knack of talking to animals and she finds a woman um, leading a horse caravan um, through this fantasy world. Uh, I'm not familiar with this world at all. This is the first book I have read of this author and um, I think this is number 
12, 14 or something in this world. And um, this is a quartet. Um, so they are four books and I have them right there. Um, yeah, so she has wild magic, um, not the magic the other people have. It's um, a different kind. And um, her, her talking to animals is um, so cool. She can talk to any animal. And um, we also have some shapeshifters. She helps one of them to shift back into human form. And um, we have other types of magic. The magic has different colors. Every person that can wield magic ma uh, wields a different color of magic. Um, and um, yeah, I don't know where this is going, but it has a school setting later. But she is not part of this school. She is just um, helping uh, with the horse caravan in this um, in this fortress. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not good at this, but definitely recommend this. And it's short, so you can fly through this. The only other thing I wanted to show you is um, the scarf I got from Litjoy Crate. I got this in the, the shop and um, I just found it so beautiful. Can you see? It's uh, Patronuses, Patroni, Patroni, I don't know. Um, we have a stack. Here's Hermione's Otter. And. Um, here is Snape's Patronus, the doe. Wait, 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 here. So Snape's Patronus, the doe. And always. And uh, I think there's a Jack Russell's and somewhere. Ron's Patronus, the author is Hermione's, of course. And, um, I think there might be a hair somewhere. That's the Jack Russell. Um, there's a swan. I think that's Ginny's. But I can could be mistaken. And I think the if there's a hair, it's it's Luna's. If there's a hair, it's, it's Luna's. But I can find no hair. Yeah, well. One thing I love and I have worn every day since I've got it, pretty much. And for reviews, I'm still in the middle of November. No, I'm still in the middle of October, oh god. So the latest review I've written was from Sadie, for Sadie, which I loved. And um, then I have got Lala's favorite books here. Um, that was from a different video. Then as these two books are coming next on my Instagram. Yeah, I've just prepared November here, but I don't know. And I also made a page for 2019 releases and all the ones I filled in I have pre-ordered and I'm insane but every time I have a voucher is, is that what it's called like 15% 20% every time I have one of those I'm getting another pre-order in because I don't have that kind of money right now but I hope I will have when they are coming out and I'm just putting these aside, this one I'm listening to, no, this one I'm listening to, and the other two I on hold, I put on hold. And um, I'm just going to read Skyward because I want to finish it. It's the best thing ever. Quick update, I just finished this book. Um, it's very late, I don't know. 
exactly but this is definitely my new favorite book of all time and um, I'm definitely going to read more Brendan Sanderson I love his writing at least the YA writing I don't know if it's going to be completely different if for adult but this was so good so funny I was actually laughing out loud it was action-packed and um, I really liked the main character and there was no romance there was no um, forced emotions or something and um, I think there's going to be romance in the next book but yeah it was just perfect a perfect novel and um, I'm glad I have read it and thanks to Fairy Loot for sending this out in their boxes and making this read along because otherwise I w probably would have put that off for ages. I just wanted to show you the art that came in the Fairy Loot box and which made me think this was going to be romance or going to include a heavy romance but it didn't. I'm still convinced that this is the main character uh, called Sign Spin um, and this is um, I think his name is Jorgen Jorgen call sign jerk face <laughs> anyway um, there was some slight hinting at a potential romance but there was no romance in the first novel and I think this is the right choice for this novel anyway just wanted to show you this glorious cover and art so here it is in its natural habitat I have rearranged my shelves yet again and um, they are now alphabetically without any genre or any sorting besides alphabet <laughs> and um, starting with A going over to B C D E um, H <laughs> J K L M Q, R, and then all of Harry Potter because R, like Rowling, <laughs> and um, where are we? S. <laughs> then here it is. Is it? I think I have to move it over, but yeah. And um, it's still S. Then T, Melanie Taylor shelf. Jessica Townsend. Then V, W, and uh, Y, and Z. And the last thing are anthologies because they don't have a 